today. No problem. Appreciate it. Um, how long have you been playing the ukulele? Um, I started playing actually in college, like late college, and I just kind of picked it up, mostly as a joke. <laughs> uh, but I just, you know, I found it at a mall actually, which is kind of oh. embarrassing. It's just this little plastic kind of ukulele, and I would play it. Um, I would play a Green Day song, and then so, and then so. <laughs> late college, to answer your question. <laughs> well, it's so. probably Green Day on ukulele. It was probably pretty unique. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was pretty cool. I um, definitely made my friends chuckle. <laughs> <laughs> so. But, I mean, you're apparently getting more serious about it now. It's yeah, I am, actually. I, I kind of went away pretty quickly from just playing things, just for the fun factor. I still go back to that, definitely. But, but I just kind of, I really was not used to writing my own music. And that's something I really wanted to do. So the ukulele was easy to pick up. So it led to that. Yeah, it's easy to travel with, too. So. It's very easy to travel <laughs> with. It's extremely easy. Although I wouldn't mind having a roadie. So just to carry the ukulele. <laughs> <That'd be laughs> and awesome. hand it to me. That'd be great. So if you know anybody. <laughs> cool. <laughs> um, would you like to play a song for us? Yeah. Cool. Yep. Um, this is called Tell Me So. Very nice. <laughs> I like that. Thank you. Yeah, it's it kind of just like sort of Well, I mean, it's it's. <laughs> I'm, I'm glad I'm bringing in people like you are taking a more serious, somewhat serious side to the instrument instead of kind yeah, of doing I like mean, the uh, nothing wrong with Don Ho or <laughs> no, any of those guys, but you definitely know, definitely not. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I I really um, I'm really grateful to the ukulele in general because I'm not, I never you know played any instruments, really, in high school, um, other than, like, marching band, I was bass drum, but, <laughs> so, not that that's not an instrument, no, but, um, it was really easy for me to play, and I, th I just use it as a tool for, to ease songwriting, I guess, Yeah. so, if I didn't pick up a ukulele, I probably never would have <laughs> started, you know, never would have written anything. Yeah, um, so are you, are you working on a an album or in the process of? Kind of, yeah. I'm in the uh, I'm in the writing songs and just figuring out what <laughs> I want on the songs stage. Yeah. So, there's no timeline. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I am working on it a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> um, who do you, I guess, consider to be some of your influences, either on the ukulele or not, I guess? Um, oh, that's a good question. Because I do... Uh, 
I listen to a lot of stuff, and I think I just pull from a lot of things, whether I realize again, or whether I realize it or not. But um, Victoria Vox is actually a big inspiration for me, just because she's uh, she writes her own music, and it's really good, and uh, she's just really independent about it. I really appreciate appreciate that, and um, that's an inspiration in general as a musician. As far as songwriting, I listen to. You know, my standby is the Beatles and Simon and Garfunkel, but I also listen to hip hop and bluegrass, and <laughs> I've been going to the symphony re recently. So I think I just pull from a bunch of different places. And <laughs> <laughs> cool. Yeah. Uh, would you like to play another? Yeah. Cool. <laughs> <Not> cheat cheat. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. I'll play this one. Um, this is called Canary in a Coal Mine. Great. All right. I'm going to start. <laughs> You're such a pretty bird, but it's a pity bird. Your cage you have outgrown, but I know something burned. The time is right, bird, to break these chains and go. some of the places you've played around town? Um, I played being... at uh, Sidewinder, north cool. side. Played at, there's a place in Latonia, Kentucky called Mahogany's. Oh, okay. It's like a coffee shop, bar type place. And uh, let's see, some flea markets. <laughs> <laughs> some farm markets. Cool. Um, College Hill Farm Market. Gotcha. Finley a couple times ago. And uh, let's see, <laughs> should know this off the top of my head. My friend's backyard. <laughs> um, campfires. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but um, I just kind of, you know, let's see. Oh, man, I really can't think of it. <laughs> <laughs> <It's> a... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> but does, um, does your, uh, does your family like it? Yeah, they do like it. They've been asking me more and more to um, bring it to family functions, <laughs> 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 which is weird. <laughs> But yeah, it, it's always like weird. It. It's always weird doing things in front of your family and parents. I am, and it's so much more nerve wracking. It really is. It is. I know. I don't know why. It's just. Uh, it is weird. Uh, but they, yeah, I was supposed to bring it to Thanksgiving. So <laughs> we'll see. I guess I might write a. I might write a Thanksgiving song. <laughs> so <laughs> That'd be uh, interesting. <laughs> so how how did your fascination with pig Latin start? Um, I really don't know. I think it's just been <laughs> in me for so long, I can't recall how many years. But, uh, I don't know. I must have learned it, you know, when I was a teenager or something, yeah. and I just kind of 
I didn't even, you know, I don't like speak it all the time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I do, uh, I don't know. It's a pretty prominent uh, aspect of my life, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> um, would you like to do your Pig Latin song? <laughs> yeah, yes, I would. <laughs> I saw the video on YouTube and um, I thought it was great, so. Yeah, that was, um, I was doing this thing where I was trying to write a new song every week. Okay. And that was part of that little personal oh, okay. project. So, sometimes you just, I have no idea what I'm going to say. <laughs> but if I say it in Pig Latin, <laughs> <laughs> it'll work. <laughs> somehow. <laughs> with the instrument so well so yeah, it's funny because I think it's great. Um, it's definitely fun. <laughs> <laughs> um, so where are you, uh, where are some of your shows coming up? Um, I'm playing at the uh, Katie Ryder Benefit at the Southgate House mm -hmm. cool. and um, I'm playing at the Sidewinder. I'm not sure of these dates because these all kind of happened pretty quickly but <laughs> um, the Sidewinder and potentially Northside Tavern with a couple of uh, musicians that I recently met. Mm -hmm. And um, oh, Thanksgiving at uh, my mom's house. <laughs> <laughs> All are welcome. <laughs> Bring a side dish. Um, <laughs> uh, th that's pretty much oh, the Global Gallery Coffee Shop in Columbus. Oh, okay. Cool. So that's about it for now. 
we'll see them. <laughs> Hopefully, more. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Um, would you like to uh, leave us with one more song? Um. Yeah. Actually, can I do a cover? Sure. Absolutely. Okay. Thank you very much. No problem. Appreciate it.